Good afternoon, viewers and listeners of Tech Point Zone. Today, this video is going to be how to care for your compressor. If you are driving a Toyota Camry 2007 to 2011, or a Toyota RAV4 2006 to 2008, at least for those ones I'm sure about the compressor. If you're driving any of these cars, which normally comes with engine of a 2AZFE or 2AR, the type of compressor you'll find in there are these types with sensor. This is the this is what they call the sensor and uh, by the time you check the compressor the required oil or the prescribed oil is if you look closely is HFC 134 NDOL 8 which is this oil here HFC 134 NDOL 8 now this particular oil HFC 134 NDOL 8 is the one that is prescribed for this compressor and if you use any other oil you are going to end up ruining your compressor so one of the things that makes this uh, particular car Camry and RAV4 notorious with AC or AC compressor or AC problems is because many of the technicians here use the wrong oil. This compressor oil is a ND oil 8 of HS 134 standard and it is equivalent to PAG 46 oil. So if you are using any other oil different from this, maybe ND oil 9 you are going to ruin the compressor. If you are using PAG oil, look at this PAG oil now. This PAG oil is a very good, uh, popular PAG oil in the market. They call it Super Cool. Now, there's nothing wrong with this oil except that it is a PAG oil, but PAG 100 or higher. Now, what this compressor uses is ND oil 8. ND oil 8 is equivalent to PAG 46. So, if you cannot find ND oil 8, right? Then the, the, the next oil you could be looking for is PAG 46. Don't go for anyone that they just write PAG oil because you will never know the particular viscosity of this PAG oil. Now this one, I'm suspecting that it is PAG 100. Reason I'm suspecting it is because it was used in this compressor and the compressor ended up in what is called black dead. And that's the black substance you can see floating on the oil. So apart from your compressor oil, contaminant in the system, and air that is trapped in the system, if you can make sure that you use the right oil, which is this ND oil 8, and you make sure that there are no contaminants in the system, what is popularly referred to as E.T. dead, and also you vacuum the system before you pressurize it or you charge it up, I can tell you for certain that your AC will not have any problem. What is happening is that many of these technicians don't keep to this standard. Many of them even use mineral oil. Some of them use mineral oil and this compressor or this oil, ND oil 8 and this compressor are both very sensitive. The compressor is sensitive in the sense that it is meant to be energy efficient. So it runs on any of the 2AZFE or 2AR engines out there, which means when the compressor peaks and when it stops, you will never know. So it is that smooth and because of that requirement it has very low tolerance to the wrong oil it has very low tolerance to contaminants and it has very low tolerance to air in the system so if you can ensure that you use the right oil you vacuum the system and you do not allow contaminants in the system your ac is going to keep working fine please do not use the wrong oil do not mix up oil ND oil 9 will not work with this compressor, it is ND oil 8. PAG 100 will not work with this compressor, it is PAG 46. PAG 80 will not work, it is PAG 46. So do not mix the oil, do the right thing and you will enjoy this compressor and your AC will be super cool and chilling. If this video helps, please like, subscribe, share and hit the notification icon so that when we release other videos, you are going to be the first to know. So the next video is going to be on how to vacuum your system so that your AC compressor, which is popularly referred to as follow comp or automatic, will not give you issues and you'll be able to use it just the same way the people who used it abroad were able to use it for 10-15 years before you ended up buying the car. These compressors have been in use for like 10-15 years, so there's no reason why you should buy the car and within a year or less than a year you should start having issues with it. If it is well cared for and they keep to everything that is uh, prescribed by the manufacturer, you should not have this problem. Please like, share, 
subscribe and hit the notification icon god bless see you in the next video by god's grace